Hello and welcome. The map we are checking out today is Dark Craters. Glacius Craterus is a drilling and preliminary processing facility on the dark side of Planeta Volcanus. Highly automated, there aren't many workers around to get in the way of a firefight. Lieutenant Cortez and a few squads are being sent to occupy post Able One, a mothballed MI base that will allow the Federation to secure the area. The campaign, Planeta Volcanus, a tidally locked planet orbiting a red dwarf with the charming name of MZ7543. One side of the planet is pocked with craters, the other is constant, constantly seared by the star. In between, there is a small temperate zone, but temperate may be a bit of a stretch. It's still hot and airless. What Planeta Volcanus does have are metals and other rare or valuable minerals. They're readily available, too, if you don't mind the environment suit and sealed vehicles. Most of the facilities are automated, so there aren't many human workers around. The good news is that a planet without an atmosphere doesn't support hoppers. The bugs first landed on the hot side, so their presence wasn't detected at first. Now they have a foothold. The mobile infantry has been called in to eradicate the bugs and reclaim Planeta Volcanus for the Federation. The mobile infantry in turn dispatched the villains commanded by Major Jack Crane and including Lieutenant Lisa Cortez and Sergeant Dan Daly for the operation. Look for supplies and more support, you're going to need them. Watch out for bug reaction attacks when you achieve significant progress. Attack waves are controlled by hives near. You have to control outpost able one to win, but okay. Good morning, Lieutenant. Your assignment today is to reoccupy outpost able one in the Glacius Craterus sector. The outpost was properly mothballed, so getting it back online should be simple. Major Crane and the rest of the battalion aren't here yet. There's not a moment to be lost in the service of the Federation, Lieutenant. We'll send Major Crane and the rest of the troops along as soon as they disembark. Does the Major know about this? It seems like we're going in with one boot off. You have your orders, Lieutenant. Luke, the Colonel himself approved them. We expect bug activity in the area to be... Yeah, I know. Random in line. I hope so. You've just assigned us one dropship. We'll be able to assign more dropships when you get to the outpost and relay station up and running. Okay, that sounds certainly concerning. What's over here? Come on. Come on, you apes. Roger that. Come on, you apes. Cuz maybe we should try and go to this. I saw the map for a second when it was all revealed. And it looked like it was an easy enough path to just walk over here. Wow, I'm surprised they got that close. Just some some random warriors shouldn't be able to do that to us. Orders, Lieutenant. We need a we need a thicker firing line if that's the case. That was already very concerning. If there if there was like some tigers thrown into the mix there, it would be very problematic. Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Squad moving out. 
Okay, seems like it's gonna be a simple enough approach. These slight inclines, oh my god, I was just, I was literally in the process of saying of how terrible these slight inclines are because the mobile infantry is inclined in, in, like, visually impaired for some reason. This is too many tigers, this is like, this is outrageous already, actually. What are we, what are we, I should have saved already. What are we supposed to do when our, our squad is already... So pathetic and can oh my fucking god, I didn't save it all. Move out on the move. Roger that with me. Oh no, this is gonna be rough. I sure hope the whole mission does not have that much tigers in it. And if it does, we better get more troops than we have. When this group is so pathetic, they're taking damage to light groups of warriors. All right, well, I can definitely see how new players are going to get frustrated with this one or there, there there's a group of players that are certainly going to get frustrated with this one already i can tell cuz like the the way the map starts you off right it starts you off kind of facing this way implying you should go this way and if you did the same thing trying to go here and you go and you go up like this little incline over here and you immediately get hit with all those tigers that is gonna that is gonna frustrate some people for sure. With me. Just a, a an amount of tigers that isn't even possible to uh, to overcome with this pathetic amount of troops is not what you want to see. Is the first thing when you get into a map. So we're gonna see if the if we're gonna see if the efficient way is actually to go around the other side. More tigers. And bombardiers! Okay, I think that group of tigers was a little bit less than the other one. But certainly that's what we gotta do. We gotta use, we gotta use the grenades to our advantage. But just having, just having better visibility on them initially is gonna make all the difference. And hopefully, hopefully that's what we can do by going at them from a different angle. Sir, with me. Since the mobile infantry unfortunately is so yes, sir. horribly blind when it comes to inclines. You know, this is unrelated to this game, but the FPS, Starship Troopers Extermination, I've been keeping up on their, like, dev diaries. They are, they are changing a lot lately. Like, quite a lot. And for those that don't know, the player count of that game has dropped quite a bit over the months. Especially since Helldivers 2 has come out. Unfortunate for them that Helldivers 2 happened to come out the same year as theirs did, because 
the Starship Troopers fans are flocking to Helldivers 2 instead, seemingly. Because extermination, the player count is... Uh, it's like a, at a daily of like 200 to 300. While meanwhile, Helldivers 2 is in like the tens of thousands. It's like, last time I checked, it might be lower now, but it was like at like 60,000 last time I checked. Troopers, listen up. And they're changing a lot, the extermination team. And I think that certainly is dangerous when you're already at a low player count. It's very dangerous. Listen up. Because you could potentially alienate a portion of that already small audience. Sir, roger that. Oh yeah, Listen there up. they are. Okay, it was about the same size. But still. Initial visibility on them made all the difference. We were already in position. We were able to... Uh, get our grenades off. Without much hassle, without having to reposition or anything. But yeah, the Starship Troopers extermination thing. I think, personally, what they should do is add a single-player mode. Sir, move out. Check your Roger that. Instead of risking changing Troopers. things Troopers. when the player count is already lower. Drum's base is operational, sir. There's a major bug encounter, bug counter attack building up. The only way to stop the waves is to find and destroy the hive that's controlling it. Okay. That does not tell me much. Is that going to be in five minutes from now or right now? Listen up. Move out. Affirmative. On the move. Affirmative. But yeah, personally, I think they should uh, On the move. add a single player mode. And you don't get to have like a full single, pl single player campaign. That might be out of scope for them at this point. But... The stuff that's already there. Yes, sir. If they let you do it single player. Yes, sir. Trooper, that, sir. Yes, sir. that could be a start at least. Because you gotta expect. The, uh, the player count can only go down over time, right? So right now it's hovering at like 200 to 300. And it can only go down over time. Unless they... I don't know. Unless they do something miraculous to turn it around. So at a certain point, if the player count gets low enough... The game will be unplayable and will have like no longevity after that point. There would be no reason for future players to buy it if if there was not an active online community around it. And that kind of stuff is that kind of stuff is very ill-advised for for games. There needs to be some kind of reason to purchase it for future future players. Okay, so there is the hive. Sir, Roger that. Infantry. This is kind of an odd example, but this way. when Destiny was new, when there was a when there was only a demo for Destiny One, okay. I had a 360 at the time because the demo. Oh my god. Why is there so many bombardiers over here? Yes, sir. Affirmative. 
fucking get out of there. I lived in the middle of nowhere with terrible internet when Destiny 1 came out. When, when the demo was out for Destiny 1. And uh, it actually did this thing where if your internet was was so terrible if your internet was so terrible it would actually shift you into a single player like a single player experience like oddly enough like it would put you like on a server all by yourself. It would it would not put you on any server that anybody else was playing. It would actually shift you over to a single player experience. And sometimes I wish that games would just let you choose that without you having to have the prerequisite of internet so bad that they don't even bother putting you on a server with other players. Okay, it took too long to get over there. Which makes me think that the, the play here is actually just to go to that hive before... before taking this base, but we'll see how bad the wave is. Too bad they didn't go the route of, like, Far Cry or something with, with user-created missions and all that. A more single-player route. Because there would absolutely be a massive community around user-created missions, just like there is for this game. If they had chose that. thought it was over. But yeah, there's no microtransactions for that game either. So they haven't been making any additional income off their audience either. Just whoever bought the game, that's it. Which is nice. But it certainly does not incentivize them to uh, continue working on that game forever. But yeah, say there's a, say there's no players on at all, right? In a in a hypothetical, say that there's nobody on at all. You're you're logging in at 3 a.m. on a very obscure day, or on a day that nobody's playing, whatever. Would it just load forever, or would it load you in there by yourself? It probably would just load forever. And that's, that's what, uh, that's what needs to change. It should absolutely let you do stuff on your own.
Like, it would be nice to have a single player mode where you can experiment. Oh, wow. Really? This is what's going on? No. The wave was so long. The wave was so long that we didn't even have time to clear it before the next one started up. Look sharp, troopers. So no, I I deny this premise and we're just gonna go walk over to that hive and clear it. Roger that. Moving now. Yes, sir. Roger that. Yes, sir. Or maybe we should walk over and take these communication relays and all that beforehand, but we don't know if there's going to be a wave that starts because of that, too. Wow, that, those fucking bombardiers. Ships engaged elsewhere, sir. You know, I remember that was a big point of contention for the uh, the newest Far Cry that came out. The community was really pissed sir. that they took away user-created missions, which I never, I never actually tried those out on the previous games, but I knew they existed. But it's understandable that the that the audience would get so pissed over that. You know, just like Starfield. Starfield comes out and like how how much longer is it? How, how long has it been now since Starfield came out? It's been quite a long time. And they never released, uh, released the uh, the creation kit for it? Like, what could Bethesda actually be thinking by not doing that? We must be aggroing the bugs out of these tunnels. A unit has been promoted, sir. We can hold on still. We don't need to use it yet. Okay, we probably need to use it now. There's two of them? Why can we suddenly not open that gate? Because that one we need the door control for. What in the fuck, man? All right. I guess we're not going to clear the hives. The sharp troopers moving to lose it, people. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. 
Get to that position. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Get to that position. Oh my god. All right. I guess we're going to go do the secondary stuff first. Alright. This this mission is shaping up to be a pain in the ass. But <laughs> we're gonna keep going until it's done. Oh, this was... No, this is the wrong one. That was after we captured the facility. That's no good. Awaiting orders. Affirmative. Roger that. With me. Yes, sir. Move out. Affirmative. Look sharp. Why the creator wants us to do this with such a pathetic amount of troops, I don't know. Sir. On the move. Yes, sir. Affirmative. With me. On the move. Leave my fleet liaison alone. Okay, so what do we get drop for doing this? Ready for oh, we got a dropship for doing that one. Move out. If there's royal guards at all of the all of the hives, then we cannot clear them before doing this. We will have to do Roger that. Move out. the wave defense here. With Move out. With me. With what we got, but I am wondering if the idea is that we go around and do these secondary objectives first. And that puts us in the strongest position to do this wave defense portion at the base. With me. Because we were handling the wave just fine, but that was going to end. God, this amount of troops is just pathetic. But that was going to end as soon as that secondary wave showed up. Because the bugs seem to be just marching single file, taking forever to get out of the first... Out of the first time. And even, even so, we wouldn't have been able to go and clear that hive. With the amount of troops that we had, we would not have been able to go clear that hive. Move out. 
Just trying to get away from that Plasma Grenadier, because he can fuck off. We don't want to deal with him right now. A unit has been promoted, sir. Oh, great. God fucking damn it. <laughs> this mission, this mission's really something, huh? Infantry, squad, moving out. Yes, sir. Where's that plasma grenadier? Wow, there's a scorpion over there too, huh? <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Just what we needed. Okay, we defeated the Scorpion. This might be the toughest mission this, uh... Come on, you apes. This map creator has made since... I can't remember what it was called. It was, it was like one of their very early missions. Maybe it was Tiger Town, something like that. A unit has been promoted, sir. Ready to go. Yes, sir. It was one of their very early missions Infantry. that they made that was pretty much this tough and they they have made a lot of very high quality missions since then, but this might be the toughest one since that one. But then again, maybe we're doing it wrong. Maybe I was supposed to just sit at that base and wait there forever. But it sure seemed like that one was gonna all of a sudden, like that one took so long to do their wave, then that one was gonna do their wave, then maybe whatever's down here was gonna do a wave, and then we were just gonna die anyways. And it was gonna take forever, but we were eventually just gonna get swarmed and die. And when they forced this pathetically weak, I did not see how we could possibly push forward to do anything. Much less clear those hives while waves are summoning. So this way at least maybe we will find something out here to let us even the odds. It'd be nice if we could just get like one engineer. One engineer so we could just like fill this place with turrets before we decide to Affirmative. Come on. go into base defense mode. The supplies should help. But yeah, I don't think I ever finished my thought on extermination. Oh wow, the hives have scorpions now, that's even worse. Archie didn't like that bug reinforcements are coming. Well, I hope a wave isn't gonna start. Infantry, standing by. 
because I sure don't know how I could have got over here to take this once those waves had started anyways. I had to be real careful with that. But it doesn't seem to be helping. Wow, what in the fuck? Is this a full wave hitting me here? As soon as I take this? I mean, if that's the case, let's, uh, well, we can't get engineers yet. I'll just deny your premise. I'll say, fuck off. I'll get my units moving before that activates, and we'll go defend over here. Yeah, this is a whole wave it's sending after me. It's just not activating it. It's not showing the danger triangle. Unfortunately, they moved, so they didn't get hit by that. This is still way too much to be sending after a player that has three pathetic squads like this. Like, look at what is happening here. This is not a reasonable, a reasonable amount of bugs to be sending after us right now. Not at all. Well, they couldn't hit us. They still can't because of that angle. Well, this seems to be working just because these two scorpions are blocking a lot of the other bugs from getting up here. And the, li the liaison ability is doing us lots of favors as well for clearing out the bugs. The fact that the scorpions can't hit us over this little ledge is also helping out tremendously. Intelligence reports that there are two major hives that need to be taken out, one to the northwest and one to the northeast. 
The one in the northeast is smaller and it might have more supplies available. It also has royal guards that I don't know how we're going to actually handle. But going and claiming the base might be what we need to do next. Either that or we go and take that and then... Come on, you Squad, yeah, maybe we should take this one and then we can go do the base defense portion. But considering what just happened there, it might not be advisable. You never know, maybe it'll just be those two waves and then that's it. Maybe it'll chill out after that. Like how we were defending here, maybe it'll just be the wave there and then the wave there and then maybe it'll chill out, but... We do have a decent amount of war support now. But it's not going to, it's gonna get eaten up by all these. This looks like maybe after we got through the majority of that yes, sir. base defense portion, like they're going to give us some supplies, maybe? Come on, you apes. Affirmative. Come on, you apes. Come on. Roger that. Come on. These random encounters with the bugs will be a lot simpler now, though, now that we have the shotgun ability. This squad won't be quite as pathetic. They, they can defend themselves now. use the shotguns unless we have to but I can do this Bombardiers are so problematic now. They used to be so much more tame. Oh yeah, but Destiny 1. I beat Destiny 1 solo. Because when the, like, even after the demo came out, I still did not have good internet. I had to do this thing where I would like bring my whole Xbox over to a friend's house. And we would have two TVs set up. And that's how we would play co-op Destiny, because because I cannot play co-op from my place. The only thing I couldn't do was the raids. Everything else I had to do solo. So I had to I had to figure out ways to like cheese all the uh, all the all the uh, all the strikes. And it was all possible. You can you can beat that entire game without anybody else.
And I absolutely would be interested to see what you would have to do. To clear some of those missions solo. In extermination. Because it certainly would be pretty tough. Like the base defense segments and all that, when you have to actually build a base with X amount of seconds before the wave shows up. What would you build if you were the only one there? Kind of stuff. Okay, this one did not trigger anything. Come on, you waves. Come on. Yes, sir. But yeah, the base building I I think for sure is what I would want to do solo the most. Especially if there was some kind of actual single player thing, not just like not just your internet's so bad you get to play single player. But if there was an actual single player mode in that, doing the, the base building, I would find very interesting to see. Uh, to do all that yourself, choose exactly how the base is going to be laid out and all that. Because right now, right now, it, there's not much incentive to, to actually experiment with the, with the, uh, the base building at all. Especially at this point in the game's uh, life cycle where... If you are, if you do get in there on a, on a team, guaranteed all them, there's probably at least a couple tryhards in there that like want the base a very specific way because they've been playing the game since launch. And it's like that energy I just, <laughs> I want nothing to do with. Like, go ahead, build your base. I'll, I'll stand over here and watch. There's a major bug counterattack building up. The only way to stop the waves is to find and destroy the hives that, that's controlling it. Yes, I know. How we would have ever done so with such pathetic numbers, I don't know. Yeah, turning these searchlights so they're not pointing inward towards the base, I think, is a, a good call. Construction complete. Sir. Troopers, standing by. Sir. Move out. Check your lines of fire. Sir. Tell us what to do. Yeah, sure. Go build out here. Infantry, standing by. Roger that. Awaiting orders. Let's go. Squad, ready. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Your orders? Yes, sir. Sir, go, fleet. I have considered doing a... Uh... Engineers reporting. I have considered doing like a full video though Sir, of uh, Fleet, when they do release their update. Construction Sir. complete. Just playing the game for like a full day. There's plenty of modes that, like that hive mode they released, there's like a very low player count of people that even do that. So getting a full team for that is very unlikely. Which is unfortunate, but... Sir, go. So if I did do a video where I spent a, a whole day 
checking out playing Extermination when the new update comes out. Probably would still be stuck on that main mode. Tell us what to do. The the like attack insecure or whatever it's called. Yeah, which is unfortunate that there's a low player count for the uh, the new mode. Yeah, we have made this harder for ourselves by bringing by going and grabbing that thing because now they got scorpions. But we'll see how we'll see if it's any harder. Well, it will be, but we'll see how how much harder it is. Maybe I should have gone. But yeah, that hive mode is a is a great example of what I meant though by there should be a single player mode. Because I never got to try out that mode. Because when it came out, the instructions of how how to play it were very bad. The the dev update did not state that you needed to be a certain level. Like the, the next dev update they released, they, they said you needed to be a certain level. But they did not bother to put that in the initial release update. So I was like, I don't know how to start this thing. I was like a level or two lower than I needed to be. I was like, I don't know how to start this thing. Guess I'm not playing it. And now the player count for, for the hive mode is, is too low. So I couldn't play it if I wanted to. Like, well, I guess, I guess that mode that they spent all that time hyping up, I'll just never get to do now. We've advanced the next battle to your service. Engineers report. And that's absolutely why there should be some kind of single player functionality. Why is it stuck on selecting that? Get get off of there. There we go. Let me get this straight, Lieutenant. You dispatched the, just a portion of my battalion under my newest lieutenant in command without support units on your own authority? Not exactly, sir. The colonel mentioned sending you to open base A1 at yesterday's staff meeting. I thought it was important enough to get started right away. So I sent the troops that were available at the time. The colonel likes to see initiative and hustle. Well, I wasn't here to send lieutenant. I was with the rest of the battalion still in transit. You might have waited. Intelligent reports indicate that the bugs haven't reached that far yet, sir. The automated mining operation is still functioning, through, though there does seem to be a holdup in the shipping area. I hope so, Lieutenant. Otherwise, we'll be discussing this again. Arrange transport for the rest of the battalion to be able one ASAP. We are short on transport, Major. It may take a while. Sergeant Daly! On it, sir. Okay, we did not get that dialogue before. Before we did not finish, we were like still doing this and then the other wave activated and then that still had not played at that point. So maybe it's because we already had one of these done and got this far in the waves maybe. But yeah, I've never tested it out. What happens if you load up Starship Troopers Extermination in offline mode on Steam? Does it let you do anything? Is the game unplayable in offline mode? 
It might be. I'm gonna have to experiment with that. Molotonic, what have you been able, what have you been up to with my battalion? Just playing a little smash face with the bug, sir, but it's good to see you. Not that we're up to strength. Let's clear those hives that control the attack waves. Yeah, I don't know how. Especially with another wave suddenly approaching. We don't have the strength to hold this base and do that. And it didn't even give us the supplies. So now we have to be really careful. Because now if we lose anybody, it's like super problematic. Because we'll be way... We, we'll lose the points advantage we have now. At least there seems to be no more tigers or no more uh, scorpions coming from that way. Tell us what to do. That's giving it to him. What is? We we cleared out. The next battle tier, sir. Yes. Yeah, we got to the next battle tier. Too bad. I don't want to spare any resources at all. Let's try and aggro those uh, those bombardiers that are over here. Okay, we may be able to pull this off now. No, not load. Save.
Well, it's a good thing the wave is seemingly stuck over there. Well, no. Took too long. The next wave did start up. Yeah, I think it's worth noting that this wave took so long to clear over here that the next wave started up before we could even reach the hive. We left as soon as we got that confirmation email, or not email, confirmation message that we could proceed. And as soon as we did, the next one started up. Rocket Troop, what the fuck are you doing? Attack the Scorpion, I tell you to. Like, I don't care if you lose visibility on it for half a second. Kill them! This ain't gonna be a picnic. I'm very glad that this other wave has gotten stuck. That singular thing is going to save us. The fact that this wave is not going to overwhelm our base while we're doing this. Because it's not practical doing them both at once. It's it's just not. Especially when this one, like, they guarantee take so long, especially when they're activating together. That they just are advancing on the base perpetually forever. One takes so long that the other one activates, and this one was activating right after it cleared anyways. And it would just be like that forever. You would never get a moment's rest when the force that we had there could barely handle it to begin with. My fleet liaison fucking died at some point? I didn't even notice. That sucks so goddamn bad. Really? I didn't even notice till now. I was like, why can I not heal? They didn't even do it. I thought they pulled it off. That's why I had them run back. They're not going to do it in time. They're going to get chomped in there. What the fuck, man? This mission is not reasonable, but we're still going to clear it. Yeah, I think at this point, I can say that this is even harder than that, like, Tiger Town or whatever. Whatever their, like, early mission was, that was that was super hard. I remember, I remember likening it to a, uh, to a Planet K level. Whatever, it was like one of their very early ones. Is my fleet liaison dead again? Promoted, sir. Fleet is ready. 
Oh my god, man. And this is with the negative nine that we have managed to acquire by going over here first. But yeah, this is by far this creator's hardest mission. By far. Still at negative nine. We haven't lost anybody this time. Okay, I think we've done it properly this time. But yeah, what is like the intended way of doing this? I have no idea. Considering how insane it's been even doing it this way, I have, I have no idea. Oh, is that part of the wave? It is. You're not allowed to bother me anymore, wave. Oh, this one's the danger triangle is gone. That's worrying. Who knows, in this plasma... grenadier infested zone down to the, the bottom of the map, I wonder if there was, like, supplies we could have used if we went down there. I want to go to the other, the other tunnel, but, or the other hive, but 
They don't seem like they're pulling off getting rid of this hive or getting rid of this wave on their own. Like, because we have such low amount of resources, I don't even know if it's worth it committing our war support to getting to higher battle tiers. Because then there would be nothing here to defend this place. As long as we can trust the map, there won't be any more waves coming from that way. And the waves seemingly have broken coming from this way. So maybe I can. I'll save before I do it, because I don't have that much faith. We'll close the gate. We'll do that. Construction complete. Awaiting order. Good to go. Good to go. Alert. Bug attack inbound. Wow. Amazing. How much of a, a reprieve was that? Like, half a second? <laughs> like, we had no time at all before the next wave started up. None. Yeah, I think the majority of players are not going to be able to complete this. I think it's going to be a very low player count that does this mission. That, like, actually manages to finish it. Holy fuck. Awaiting orders. Oh my fucking god, man. This mission is something else. Construction complete. Yes, Love to get in position for this wave. Gotta dance around these piece of shit bombardiers instead. Do I get anything for claiming this this drill? Maybe I should wait to, to try that out, because guaranteed there's probably something else bullshit over there waiting for me. Unit 
Wow, look at all this fucking garbage over here. Outrageous is what this is. most fucked up thing about this is it's just gonna start over we're gonna clear all this and it's gonna mean fucking nothing and the wave's gonna instantly start again because it seems to be triggered by when you clear the wave not actually any kind of timed interval it's just you clear the wave it instantly starts up again That lady just said something, didn't see what it was. Can we somehow get over here and clear this? Well, I feel like the chance of us clearing it before the next wave starts up is probably zero, probably non-existent, but maybe we can get some kind of damage going over here. All right, let's fucking dance around for the bombardiers, these motherfuckers. Oh my god, man. Scorpion behind us, worst thing possible. Almost, it's almost clear, it's almost over. Run, run, get in there! Oh no, that's gonna activate first. And they got weakened. Oh no, it's clear, we did it!
Maybe it is a timed interval. And because we were so much closer to the hive, it... The, uh, the next wave didn't start up immediately. Oh my god. We're through the worst of it. Yes, sir. Understood. It's absolutely just gotta be a victory lap Roger now. That. We're through the worst of it. Understood. Holy fucking shit. Right after I say that. Let's go see what's down here. Look sharp, jumpers. Roger that. Snipers here. Sir. Sir, come on. Roger that. Our war support has increased, sir. Goody! Construction complete. Good shot, Trooper! Roger that! This ain't gonna be a picnic! Yeah, too bad we're at negative nine and we can't actually make use of any of those uh, things we're getting. We can't actually get any marauders to help. This ain't gonna be a picnic. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Roger that. Just imagine how impossible that would have this been, what be we just picnic. did up there. If we didn't have those nine extra supplies. Yes, sir. sir, affirmative. Sir. Look sharp, sir. This way. Holy fuck, that. man. Get away from me. Sir. Squad, ready for orders. Look a lot on. Okay, they already they did claim it. I thought the bombardiers messed up the capture or something, but no, we already got it. This ain't gonna be a picnic. Roger that. Yes, sir. Is there any point to even going into these regions like over here? Yeah, this map, this map is insane, and it's gonna be one of those ones where, like, only 1% of players actually complete it, but... But I guess it's doable! We're doing it! Yeah, we are, we are doing it somehow! Oh, so the game is actually busted. It's busted and, and... Oh, wow. Okay, that's fucking awful. Oh, man. That is really irritating to know. Did no one ever get that far to playtest it? Did no one actually complete this mission? So no one knew that that trigger was busted? That you clear that hive and it doesn't matter, the wave comes anyways? Was I the first one to pull it off? This ain't gonna be a picnic. This is fucking outrageous. God damn it, man. We gotta fly away. We gotta fly back to base.
This is unfucking believable. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. What are we even supposed to be doing now? Destroy all any and all bug hives. I'm presuming maybe there's like a bug hive down here. I was thinking maybe there was another one over here. Did this one not count? Is this not the one it meant? Is there another one hiding over here somewhere? I do regret even, uh... Oh, wow, they didn't fly. They didn't even try and fly. I do regret getting getting these for no reason. We could have more. I thought we were safe. That's why I did it anyway. So I thought we were safe to some degree. To where I could not have to worry about putting turrets up anymore. But no, that was not the case. Well, if that's the case, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of these. And we're going to put them all over here. Construction complete. Construction complete. Put a rocket launcher one there. Awaiting orders. Sir. Get to that position. Meanwhile, everybody else can move out, I guess. Even though we're probably not going to be able to divert attention to two things at once anyways. It's going to be... Troopers. Bombardiers or Grenadiers, some kind of bullshit wherever we go. Awaiting orders. We've advanced to the next battle tier, sir. Great, that means nothing to me. Construction complete. Now that we know that the attack wave attacks no matter God fucking damn it, it did the wrong one. Now that we know the attack wave Get to that position. comes no matter what. Yes, sir. Construction complete. I definitely am not going to spend a single more war support. Get to that position. Roger that. Sir? On anything but turrets. And that's exactly what I was talking about. Sir. Construction complete. Engineers here. Look sharp, troopers. Sir. Roger that. Moving to position.
We've got a unit under attack. Construction complete. We've got a unit under attack. Maybe that wave is tied to the wrong hive or something. Like one of it was tied to this hive, or or maybe there is a hive all the way in the corner here it's tied to instead. Construction complete. Great, it fades out into darkness so they don't do their attack. Fucking great! Oh, my rocket guys died? Wow, well fuck this, we're definitely reloading. God, man. Wow. You fucking game, unfucking believable. That's got Archie stirred up. That's got me stirred up. That the fact that they fucking just vaporized him while he was they were all going in there. Means I got to not do that instead sit back here and wait until they're all dead first, which is going to take too long. God fucking damn it, somebody else died. This is why you need... This is why you need to have not... This is why you have to not have a busted supply count. It makes the mission insufferable.
Like, the fact that I can't lose anybody and I have to reload every time anybody dies, the worst. What the fuck is this? Why are they coming from that way now? Holy fucking shit. The controls failed and did not send them over there. Like, that, that adds to why this part is now this much more frustrating. The fact that we did clear it, but our fucking, one of our units got vaporized afterwards, and because we lose anybody, we have to reload. Instantly makes this mission ten times worse. Because we already did it, but because we can't lose anybody, we have to reload it because somebody died after the fact. Good enough checkpoint because everybody's alive. Come on, heal everybody up. I guess good enough checkpoint. We're in a checkpoint like every half half a second here because of this bullshit. Okay, still a bunch of bullshit scorpions staring us right in the face, but maybe the engineers will be able to get in there quick enough. Not if it takes my fucking controls away.
There is a bunch of bullshit happening here. Holy fucking shit, you gotta be kidding me. They focus fired uh, like a bunch of new scorpions that spawned over here. Focus fired my rifle troopers until they were gone. Look at all this fucking bullshit coming at us. Oh my god, what is even going on over here? No, we're just running. All of you, all of you bugs can just go to hell. Fuck off. Now, there's still those plasma grenadiers that were too slow to keep up with everybody else. At least that wave is not spawned again from over there yet. Of course, of course there's a bunch more bugs up there. What else should I expect? Move out. With me. On the move. 
Yes, sir. Listen up. Roger that. Troopers, listen up. Oh my god, I don't even know how how far we're into this mission. This mission is like actual insanity. And I don't even know if we're like that close to beating it. We might still have to go up here. We we might still have to go over here. We're obviously not done yet. Still says there's more hives. There's at least one more. Roger that. Standing by. Moving to position. Roger that. With me. Get ready. Yes, sir. Sir. Stash your tools and move out. Our war support has increased, Squad. sir. Affirmative. Roger that. Sir. Affirmative. Sir. Engineers are that. Stash your tools and Roger move that. out. Squad. Bombardiers yes, are the actual worst. <laughs> like, it's amazing. Sir. All they did was add that jumping ability, and they're, like, a hundred times more insufferable. Like, it went from bombardiers not being really a big problem at all to, like, me actually never wanting to see them again. Roger that. Except everybody uses them now! That's the difference! Moving now. now that they are the most insufferable, yes, sir. now they are everywhere. Oh my god, what? There was supposed to be waves coming from this way? No, that was just that yes, one sir. wave. Thankfully. Moving now. Roger that. Moving now. Roger that. Yes, sir. Moving now. Roger that. Moving now. Yes, sir. Roger that. Our war sir. support has increased, sir. Yes, sir. Affirmative. With a pistol. Ah! Orders, Lieutenant. Squad ready. Yep, thanks for wasting my time, bombardiers. Sir. Gotta stand here and wait for healing Squad now. Ready. Moving now. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Roger that. Moving now. Roger that. Moving now. Roger that. With me. Yes, sir. Sir. All right. Thanks for wasting my time, bombardiers. I guess we'll stand around some more. Sir. Sir. Where do you need us? Yes, sir. Affirmative. Roger that. Yes, sir. Roger that. Sir, stash your yes, sir. Roger that. Squad ready. Do they stop trying to shoot at the bombardiers as soon as they jump into the air? It sure seems like they do. Which is crazy. That is the most busted part of them, if that's the case. Because, like, I have them on attack move, right? So they're attack moving forward. And they're attacking the bombardiers. No big deal. Bombardiers decide to jump into the air. They decide to change their minds because they're on attack move. Oh no, it's in the air now. I will not attack anymore. I will now move directly to where the thing is going to land. Moving now. Roger that. Moving now. Yes, sir. Roger that. Moving now. Roger that. Moving now. Standing by. Get ready. Yes, sir. Sir. Moving now. Affirmative. 
Whatever hive is over here, I cannot wait till it is gone. Oh, we lost somebody. God fucking damn it. Guess we're reloading again. Sir. Affirmative. Moving now. Yes, sir. Wow, there's a bunch of bullshit over there. Bombardiers, I, from the bottom of my heart, hope that somehow you, you get deleted from the game and never come back. Oh no, wait, we're already at negative six. When did we lose somebody? We lost a squad somewhere. Yeah, great. Yeah, we're permanently nerfed now. I didn't even notice when it happened. Or maybe, maybe it was because we gained something. Maybe it was because when we did the one of those uh, objectives, maybe we got some... Oh, no, wait. We went and found... We found some supplies, didn't we? Yeah, no, that was what it was. So I didn't need to reload after all when I saw we were at negative six. Oh, well. That's fine. I was so used just to looking down and... Seeing if we were at negative nine or not. Come on. Just like fuck off for one second, bugs. And finally, priority the grenadiers. I saw them coming out of the tunnels, and I was like, Well, I guess that means we can priority them now.
Come on, just free me from this hell. Let me clear this motherfucking hive. No, it's back up the two. God damn it. Well, we definitely lost somebody somewhere. Oh, it was the fleet liaison? Holy fucking shit. This fucking garbage. Come on. I cannot believe this mission is like this. Why would you possibly want to make a mission that tortures the player this much? I don't know. Almost there. Ready. 
Almost. Almost there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Get ready. Now that we have done one full rotation, now we're going to try and sit in there. Roger that. Moving now. Roger that. Moving now. Yes, sir. Engineer, sir. Look at all the bullshit that immediately starts. Immediately up to five. Tell us what to do next. Where's my fleet liaison? My fleet liaison is dead? God fucking damn it. I guess we're reloading again. And it takes so long going all the way around that it's that level again. Yes, sir. Uh, un fucking believable is what this is. Look at them all ready to fucking reactivate. when I tell you to. Lost one of them. I'm just gonna deal with it if we can manage to clear this fucking thing. to tell them to go in. How about you all just go in? Go in. Everybody go in. Everybody get in. It's clear. Everybody now fucking die, don't care, moving on. Holy hell. Unbelievable is what that hive was. I'm going to I'm going to save a third time just to be sure that I never have to do that again. There are units deployed that require this building. Right. Guess I was wrong in thinking I should get the Pulse Trooper one. Because obviously there's no units deployed that need it. It's just broken. 
Dropships engaged elsewhere, sir. Marauder reporting. Moving out. We're gonna take a risk here. You know what? I don't want this one. Drop ships engaged elsewhere, sir. sir. Let's take the risk that there is not gonna be a future wave coming over here. Yeah, after what we just saw there, I think it's very safe to say that it's only going to be 1% of people that ever beat this mission. And the player count of who's going to actually beat this is going to be so low. It's going to be almost nobody. They're all gonna be priority. Scorpions. And then we're gonna have one group of engineers following behind them. You know, I remember whatever, like the one, I, I think it's Tiger Town. I might be wrong, but I think it's Tiger Town. I remember back then thinking that one was like Planet K, and then like all the future missions I thought were like a lot more reasonable, and I was like, oh, they, they learned from that. Everything they've done since then has been a lot more reasonable than that one. And uh, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. They were bottling it up. They were waiting to do this again. Every mission this unreasonable. They are like, just you wait. One of these days I'm going to unleash my true intentions on the community. I'm going to make something no one will ever beat. Hydraulics <laughs> engaged. On my way. Hydraulics engaged. On my way. Hydraulics engaged. Come on, people. Water online. On my way. Hydraulics engaged. On my way. Hydraulics engaged. Yes, sir. On my way. Hydraulics engaged. On my way. Sir. Come on, people. Hydraulics engaged. On my way. Hydraulics engaged. On my way. Hydraulics engaged. On my way. But we still have not gotten all the mining facility things left. And there is apparently still a hive somewhere. Hydraulics engaged. On my way. Hydraulics engaged. On my way. Our war support has increased, sir. Oh, that's it. We've done it. We win now. Thank God. Thank God we've done it. It's over. Oh my God. Oh my God. I did not. I did not realize this is what I was signing myself up for when, when I loaded up this mission. But we've done it. Somehow we have done it. This hive over here. This is like the most insane thing I've seen in this game in terms of like what it is requiring of you to clear a hive. And like, if we had lost that group to begin with, like, sure, it seemed like we were, like, overpowered over here with our four, our four howitzers. 
That would not have been the... If all I had was four howitzers over here, all those scorpions and plasma grenadiers, they would have died so fast. It would have been... It would not have even been remotely reasonable to do that area with those howitzers. But all right. We've done it. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. We've made it to the end. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.